Hello, Jesse Zymek here, Woodbone Consulting out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm here in beautiful Wuhan, China today. And today we're going to go into XG Technologies, a one-stop PCB supplier. And today we're going to meet the company and the people and see what it's all about. Come on, let's take a look. Long but good. Glad to finally be here. Yeah, that's great. So please meet our team. I'm Marty. Nice to meet you. Hi, Marty. Nice to meet you. Judy, nice to meet you. Judy, pleasure. Nice to meet you too. We've talked on email. Good to finally put a face and name together. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a long trip. So let's come over to check our office. And yes. Facilities tomorrow. That sounds great. Let's, let's go. go. Uh, why don't you give us a little history of XG Technologies and when you got started? Okay, uh, XG was uh, established since 2009, uh, 2009 <laughs> and the company was registered uh, in Hong Kong. And uh, Choose Hong Kong is uh, as our register location. It's because that we are uh, addicted uh, to offering our service to global customers. And uh, while I have been in PCB and uh, SMT business for 20 years. I like helping people, either from my team, my partners, or my customers. When their problems are solved, their smile is the best reward I could possibly get. I was in the component business for decades, uh, witnessing many buyers and procurement teams striving to locate legit suppliers who understand the core value of their business. When they expand their needs from components to PCBs, I started to work with XG. Jesse here, day two on the XG Technologies trip in China. Uh, yesterday we had the pleasure, or I had the pleasure, of actually going to the head corporate facility and uh, we got to meet the staff, the CEO, and now we're gonna have an opportunity to go check out the printed circuit board shop itself. So let's go and take a look. So we've arrived here at the XG facility and today's gonna be pretty exciting because we're gonna see how a PCB is made. So let's go inside and take a look how that's done. customer sends in, comes to the engineering team. As you can see, the files come in and he's checking them here, layer by layer. This is where they resolve any issues, make any improvements to designs, and correlate that information back to the customer before we actually go into So this is what we have, uh, pretty typical and standard. This is our wet processes. This is where plating happens, where chemical etching, stripping, uh, scrubbing, anything that has to do with wet process is all facilities. It's all done here throughout the whole process. So let's take a look in here. This is the ever so noisy drill room, but a very critical part in the process. As you can see, we have multiple drills running. Each one is maintained by an individual operator, and sometimes we have four to six spindles running at all times. So, very critical room, noisy, loud, but important process. Here we're in routing. So you saw the CNC drilling, drilling all the holes. And this is where we actually route out specific designs for the customer. Quick turn, low volume prototype, high mix. 
But one of the unique features that it can do, other than just printing the legend ink on the surface, is QR coding. Yeah. And Selena, I'll let you talk about that a little bit more, okay? Yeah, thank you, Jesse. Uh, actually, this is about customers' requests. Sometimes customers want to know how this channel is used. So uh, we deploy this QR code on the board so that customers simply by scanning the QR they go instantly when and where and which shift and who is going to handle the board. In case there is a body board, we simply scan the code and the code can tell us how number, customer code, and when the order is placed and who is building it. So by doing this, we can trace to the single person who made this mistake and then improve this in the repeat order. So for both internal and external, this is a way to have traceability on the production of the actual circuit board, is that correct? Yeah, exactly. Awesome, awesome. So this is also a very important part of, uh, of how a circuit board is made, the final inspection. This is where you'll see AOI and some manual inspection going on to make sure that the, the board is built properly. So this is the electrical test room. This is where we have some grid testers over here, more for production. Over here is more for your high precision testing. We have flying probe testers. As you can see, we have a wide range. And this is where you can see the probes testing the actual panel. And what they're doing here is they're looking either for opens or shorts before it goes over to final inspection. As you can see, many machines are operating. So the nice thing about this particular facility is the streamlines in the process. That makes a big impact when you're actually building a uh, circuit board. It's making sure that your processes and the flow of how that's actually being conducted is done in an efficient way. It obviously saves time and money. Mr. Lee, thank you for allowing me to visit uh, the facility and see how your circuit boards are built. Um, it's pretty impressive, uh, the operation that you guys have here, so I'd like to take a, a brief moment and find out a little bit more about the history. Uh, can you tell me when you actually started uh, making uh, circuit boards here? Thank you for sharing today. Thank you for Thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mr. Lee, thank you. Hello, so you just saw how a bear board was made at the XG Technology Factory, and now we've arrived at Changchang, China, at the XG Technology Assembly Shop. So we're gonna take a look at the second part of this, where now we take the bear board and we put the components on, and we're gonna show you how that looks. Come on. Hi, Jason. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Okay. Uh, welcome to visit uh, SMT Factory. Yeah. Okay. The name of the company. So quality control starts with step one. As you can see, we have the proper attire. Now we're gonna go into an air shower before we enter the, the production uh, room. So uh, this is what it looks like, and here we go. Okay. So we're at the assembly, and this is where step one. The bear board comes into the facility. The operator then puts it onto this automated system. And here, as you can see, using some of the newest technology, here we're checking those pads to make sure that everything's in the right location. Then it moves through the process, and this is what's called the pick and place machine, where components are then 
strategically put on those locations where you see the artwork and the files here. So this machine, why they call it a pick in places. All these components are added on here. It knows where the location is through the software, and it's automatically putting on there with the bonding material as well, like a paste. There's another one. Then one of the final steps of that process is once you have the bare board and the components and the solder paste, now you've got to rebake that panel or PCB board so everything bonds together in simple terms. And this is what's called a reflow oven. So after final inspection, put on the gloves for quality measures. We don't want to introduce any foreign materials. The finished product. Put this guy on here. We have the beginning stages of a populated board, once again. As you can see, everything is bonded together and ready for the next stage, which we're going to take a look at right now. Okay, so this is the COV bonding area in the assembly house. And this is another way to actually add a component. So we're going to take a step inside and take a look how this is actually done. So here you see the operator is actually going to take these panels and actually add a little bit of bond paste in the center of that. And it's actually going to add little wire bond pads to the center of that location. They're so small that we have to use a special piece of equipment to do so. Once that connection has taken place, it comes over to this station, and this is where software is actually being embedded into the chip and technology itself. It goes through some final testing stages. So we're in the SMT test area. This is actually the final phase, and uh, right now they're actually testing an American board, so I know that American customers are going to be happy when they see this final uh, quality control test. So let's take a look and see what they're doing. As you can see, there's various different pieces of equipment to test the final product. And what they're doing is loading it on with precision testing. And the types of tests that are being performed right now are various. You know, we're looking for opens, shorts, and also a functionality test. And once that passes inspection, then that uh, is ready to be packaged and shipped to the customer. Okay, so we're in the warehouse. Come on in here. This is actually the storage of the components and materials that are going to be used for populating the board. Uh, it says warehouse management, but as you can see, all these ladies are actually really quality control. What happens is when the components actually come in, the first thing that the, these ladies do is they actually inspect the quality of the, the, the product itself. Once that's been complete, it goes back into proper storage, which you can see is very well organized and labeled. So here we have some uh, components that require some additional quality control, so it's uh, warehouse and temperature controlled units. Uh, one of the most popular is the solder paste that you see here at the proper temperature. And as you can see, they take all the uh, precaution measures to get it back to room temperature, or to usage temperature, I should say. This process takes about four hours, and as you can see, they're meticulous in the way that they manage the inventory and everything is well documented. Once this has been completed, it also goes to a pre-check before it actually goes out onto the floor. And you can see here, uh, more organization, the storage of the components, everything is labeled, well organized for a nice, efficient, streamlined process. So one of the processes that you saw before was actually surface mounting, where we actually mount the component onto the surface. Another process is the THT line. And this is where components need to be added into the through holes. So as you can see, these tiny holes that are CNC drilled, or routed, and then also plated, now we also need to add a component in that. And there's a special process that takes place to make sure that that happens. So here on the assembly design, you see the workers adding the actual special components into the through holes. And one of the precautions that they take uh, for quality and safety measures is this static releaser. So this also protects the employee and also protects the panel to make sure that there's no static being transferred. If there is any static, the light will turn from green to red and everyone will be notified and the process can continue. As you can see, 
each operator and worker has a different component to add. Once the board is populated again, it goes through a reflow process where it's baking everything and bonding as well. Once the product comes out of the oven, it's then cleaned up by removing any excess material, in addition to final inspection. Once the panel is complete, it's then loaded into the tray, and that's what a populated board looks like. So from the loading tray, it comes to one other final inspection. This is called an AOI unit. Pretty cool technology. What it does is it's checking to make sure that everything's in the proper location. The board was built to the customer's specs. Once it goes through this final inspection, as you can see, it's ready for packaging. So another quality control test that they have here is for the automobile industry. And this is a special piece of equipment called an in-circuit tester. And it performs a specialized test, again, for the automobile industry. So in addition to the capabilities to what the assembly shop has. Here, you see the tool, the automatic robotic soldering line, soldering an LECD screen. Additional parts are added for final assembly. We have the finished product. And this is actually a medical device used for blood glucose meter. So, it's been an amazing couple days here in China working with the XG technology team as well as the film crew. One thing I want to say is, you know, I get around the world quite a bit and I see a lot of different circuit board shops. I've seen over a couple hundred. And uh, one thing that you know, each shop has is obviously a strength and a niche. And one of the, the, the great things about XG technology that I witnessed is they truly are a one-stop shop solution for all the PCB needs. Not only can they provide all the services from the beginning of the bear board to the assembly populated board, the, the team and the people that are in place is truly amazing. Everyone has a passion for the, the industry and everyone puts their titles aside and just works together on providing some of the best service and also quality products. So, you know, let, in closing, let XG Technologies take the worrying and the guessing out of the game if we're going to move forward and looking for that pretty support uh, solution. And, uh, other than that, again, it's been a wonderful trip and uh, until next time, see you guys.